Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the important infrastructures needed to commence a commercial fish farm. And I urge you to watch, subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Thank you. A hatchery is a facility where eggs are hatched under artificial conditions. In the fish hatchery, fish are spawned, the eggs hatched and cared for in an enclosed environment under optimal temperature. The prion growing is where the fingerlings are nurtured and grown to juvenile. A fish pond is a controlled reservoir that is stocked with fish and grown from post-juvenile to maturity. A powerhouse is a facility for the generation, control and distribution of electric power. A powerhouse may contain one or more generators that converts mechanical power into electrical power. In fish farming, alternative power supply is needed to generate constant electricity for the water distributive system and other facilities on the fish farm. Water tanks are used to provide storage of water for use in many applications and fish farming is one of them. Storage tanks are needed for constant water supply as this is the lifeline for the sustainability of a fish farm. A fish farm should have a good housing unit for storing and protecting the feeds against theft, rodents, and spoilage. A fish farm needs a properly planned road or network of roads for easy access and movement, and drainages should be implemented for the removal of surface water, easy disposal of wastewater. A fence is a structure that encloses an area, typically outdoors. A fish farm needs a fence to protect the fishes and assets within its defined boundary from theft and encroachment. The fence should have a gate for access to the fish farm. A sales point is where products are sold. It could be an open area or under a shed. The fish farm produce are meant to be sold at the sales point, either fingerlings, juveniles or table size. The fish farm needs an accommodation for the production manager to effectively and efficiently discharge their duties. Basically, they are domicile in the farm. An administrative block is needed for office purpose where staff of the farm who come to work on a daily basis can stay. The security house is where the security personnel are resident and it should be located close to or by the entrance 
gate of the fish farm. The fish farm needs a security house for security personnel to stay as they are responsible for controlling movements to, within and from the farm, assuring that there is orderliness and no case of theft and encroachment. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.